Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. Today, we have come of age, guys. We went through the terrible twos up here. Remember that? Oh, and uh, also there was a time when we became a teenager, right down here, and this is the one where we went to college and we finally turned 18. Good times though. Now though, we are 21 years old. Cannot believe it. I think it's time to celebrate though with the top 10 dumbest tweets, part 21. I am your host, Danny Burke, and I also have my own channel right here should be floating there, shocker. It's where I talk about all sorts of things that matter to me or make me laugh and hopefully they'll matter to you and make you laugh too, so check it out. Link will be down there in the description box below. But now, we're gonna move on to the main event. We are all gathered here for one thing, as you know, so let's get the show started like we always do with our number 10. If there's a New Jersey, where's the old one? The US government is hiding too many secrets. Love this one, love it, what a great one to start on. The list goes on too, you've got New New York, New Hampshire, New Mexico, where are they hiding all the old ones? I'm most suspicious about New England. Yeah, I think somewhere out there there's a place just called England and they're hiding it from us all. I'll find it one day though, one day. Next up at number nine, this picture was floating around a while back. Obviously fake, right? That's not real. Well, apparently not to some people. One girl tweeted at the account who shared it and said, thanks for the lies. Yeah, that's right. She did it. She has actually poured hot Tabasco sauce in her eyes, thinking it will give her some sort of edgy red eye look. But she ends up looking like some sort of Tabasco demon, if I'm honest. Here's the general rule, guys. Don't believe everything you see online. Except this, except dumbest tweets. Always believe in dumbest tweets. Coming in at number eight, we all recently saw the US election and regardless of which side you sided with, I think we would all vote against this kind of dumb. Hillary just said America is 240, yet it's 2016. Followed by, right, she doesn't even know how old America is, yet she's running for president. What the f This is a person who thinks that the year zero was when America was founded. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? At this point, maybe it was. I don't know. Maybe in the year 500 BC, they were just counting down the years and saying, oh, not long now until America's born. What, what's America? I don't know, but it's coming. At number seven, Wiz Khalifa says, I can't wait to go to Ghana. I don't know what Ghana means, but she's a lucky one to have you. <sighs> Ooh, geography, eh? Geography. I saw someone reply to this one saying, oh, well, Ghana could be a name. It could be, ooh. Yeah, yeah, it could be, but it's clearly not. He's obviously talking about the African nation of Ghana. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go see my girlfriend, Papa New Guinea. Next up at number six, public service announcement. You are not a 90s baby if you were born after 94. Thanks. That's right, this is a public service announcement to all the tens of millions of people born between 1994 and 1999. You see those baby pictures that you have from that time? They're a lie. You might actually have photographic evidence of being a baby in the 90s, but um, apparently that doesn't make you a 90s baby. I don't know why. I think to be a true 90s baby, you basically need to pop out looking like a Spice Girl. Coming in at number five, you know he lame when he treats you well. <laughs> This is the world we live in now, folks. Better get used to it. A lot of you guys sent this one in to me. Not sure why. Maybe you're looking for answers. Maybe you're looking for me to tell you everything will be okay. But the truth is, this is the world we live in, guys, where you treat people well by treating them badly. Oh dear. Oh no, wait a second. <laughs> Oh, thank God, it's dumb Twitter. So this is obviously, as usual, complete nonsense. Close one. Next up at number four, when he can cook. Okay, guy with his shirt off, let's see what he's cooking. Oh, he's uh, cooking a bowl of cereal, apparently. Something tells me that she's so distracted by his body, she now thinks that pouring milk on some Cheerios makes you a chef. I can understand the confusion. Me and that guy have the same body. I would show you mine, but uh, don't want to distract you from the rest of the video. Moving on to number three. Why do I have a bird feeder full of M&Ms, lol? Yeah, I know this is a spelling error. I make spelling errors too, but this is a pretty silly one, let's be honest. In the real world, birds eat seeds. In dumb Twitter world, they eat famous rappers, apparently. Squirrels also eat Tupacs, deers eat Jay-Zs, and rats eat 
biggies. What am I talking about? Next up at number 2, NBC says ISIS fighters are shaving bears and hiding in civilian homes to avoid airstrikes. Correction, it was beards, not bears. Ok this one is funny, but it's also pretty dumb. If you're a major news organisation like NBC, you really should be checking your tweets before you send them out like that. There is a huge difference between ISIS shaving their beards off and ISIS shaving their bears. It's ridiculous, we all know ISIS would never shave their bears. And finally at number 1, damn I just hit my head really hard, I think I might have a Caucasian. Have you ever hit your head so hard it ends up being a race of people? Neither have I. When this guy fills out government forms I wonder if he puts his race down as concussion. What am I saying? Actually what am I saying? I can hear my words, but they're not making any sense. This is ridiculous. But you know what? If I finished a dumbest tweet video and things made sense, that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't make any sense at all. I don't know about you, but are you feeling a part 20? Too. Let me know down below. Until then, you can find me, Danny Burke, on my channel that I talked about in the description box below. I do all kinds of random videos. The only thing in common for all of them is me, really. Thanks as ever for watching Most Amazing Top 10. More videos floating over there if you want to keep going, and I'll see you all in the next video.